photosynthesis in higher plants. Photosynthesis It is an anabolic, reductive and an endergonic process using light energy to reduce carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. Carbon dioxide plus water in the presence of sunlight and the pigment chlorophyll gives glucose plus water and oxygen. Photosynthesis is the phenomenon exhibited by green plants to synthesize their own food. Leaves are the main sites of photosynthesis. Leaves comprise of cell organelles called as chloroplasts responsible for photosynthesis. Chloroplasts are found mainly in the mesophyll cells. What do we know? We all know that chlorophyll plays an important role in photosynthesis which takes place in the presence of light and carbon dioxide. Let us perform an experiment to support this fact. Take two leaves and partially cover one of the leaves with black paper and the other exposed completely to the light. We can observe that photosynthesis takes place and results in the preparation of starch only in the place exposed to light. This can be confirmed by testing the leaves for starch. Early experiments There are so many simple experiments performed to understand the concept of photosynthesis. Joseph Presley discovered the presence of oxygen in 1774. He observed that a candle burning in a bell jar soon gets extinguished. A mouse kept in the same place got suffocated soon. But when he placed a mint plant in the same bell jar, he observed that mouse stayed alive and candle continued to burn. He concluded that plants restore the material to air, which is used up by breathing animals and burning candles. John Egginhaus, by using the same setup of Presley, showed that the sunlight is essential for plant and plant purified air contaminated by burning candle and breathing mouse. He also observed that an aquatic plant in the bright sunlight formed bubbles called as oxygen which were not formed by the plant in the dark. Julius von Sachs in 1854 proved that plants produce glucose in their specialized structures called as chloroplasts with the help of chlorophyll. He also concluded that glucose is stored as starch. T. W. Engelmann has conducted experiment using prism to split the light into its spectral components. He placed cladophora, a green alga, in the suspension of bacteria. When bacteria were used to detect the sites of oxygen evolution, he observed the accumulation in blue and red light split of the spectrum. This was the first description of spectrum of photosynthesis. It resembled the absorption spectrum of chlorophyll A and B. In the middle of 19th century, the empirical equation for the process of photosynthesis was given. CO2 plus H2O in the presence of light formed CH2O, glucose, 6 carbon sugar plus oxygen. Cornelius Van Neel demonstrated that photosynthesis is light dependent reaction. 
It involves the reduction of carbon dioxide by hydrogen into carbohydrates. 2H2A plus CO2 in the presence of light forms 2A plus CH2O plus H2O. In plants, water is the hydrogen donor and is oxidized to oxygen. The equation representing overall process of photosynthesis is given as 6CO2 plus 12H2O in the presence of light gives C6H12O6 plus 6H2O plus 6O2.